Hi, good morning. Uh, this is Everett Brown. Um, nice to present to you um, for this um, for this presentation. I'm sharing a little bit about an article that I read from Strategic Finance Magazine that um, I found pretty pretty intriguing. Um, and the name of the article is called "How Ethics and Compliance Fight Corruption" um, by Eugene. Cornelich and something a little bit of background of what they talk about in the article, uh, which is really help could be very useful for for your company would be why it's important to fight against corruption and the biggest impact that or takeaway that I found that would probably be the most useful for you is how uh, how large of a risk it is for large companies uh, that deal with corruption. Um, interestingly, bribery is, um, nobody is immune to bribery in, in, across all industries and uh, countries. Uh, from my experience, uh, it's been challenging working with clients in India for this particular reason because their, um, their background is more, their culture or is more susceptible to uh, bribes. An um, interesting fact that I've learned about bribery is that for every dollar of bribery translates into returns of six to nine dollars, which is pretty significant. Uh, but this article teaches us why fighting against corruption is important and um, what can be done to prevent corruption. Um, there, uh, a little bit of background from the article, it talks about a lot of different countries are um, put a lot of laws in place to help uh, prevent um, corruption, uh, but the U.S. remains the largest um, contributor to to the to this uh, to the laws um, for businesses and fighting against corruption. One of the craziest um, facts that I found was that. Um, corporate or like corporate fines have been have been in, dramatically increasing over the years, uh, and it's reached about 2.8 billion dollars in 2020. Is um, what companies have had to pay in lawsuits to um, covering up malpractices of of employees. So it's really important that we you that we put in practice certain. Um, certain procedures in place in your company to prevent such dramatic um, possible losses and create a culture within your company so that com that uh, practices can help prevent such um, fraud and corruption. Um, one of the best effective mitigating strategies and defenses against Corruption would be to put in place a compliance program and strong corporate controls. Um, and they recommend, which I can share with you, the six principles of an adequate com compliance program. Um, and I definitely recommend that you, um, you put these in place in your company. Uh, the six principles are proportionate procedures, top level commitment, risk management, due diligence, communication and monitoring and review. It is really important that uh, your company has strong controls and a compliance program to help your employees feel closer and more um, committed to being honest in their dealings and making sure that uh, your company doesn't get involved in any, um, any um, you know, government regulations or anything, but that you, you, you keep honest and keep ethics strong in your company to fight against corruption. Um, some of the important aspects that I've taken away from the accounting and decision management uh, course is the importance of organizational architecture and the three-legged stool. Um, it's important that your organization creates a system that measures performance, that rewards and punishes bad and good performance, and also a system 
that assigns decision rights. Uh, it's really important that your compliance program has strict controls so that decision management, so that you can separate decision management and control so that there is always um, those important policies and procedures in place to prevent um, these uh, things. Something that was really uh, frequent in the article was it talked about willing blindness when, um, which is sort of like negligence when the company's executives suspect unethical or practical behavior, but carefully and intentionally avoid assessing it legally. Um, and that's something we'll want to make sure that, you know, they understand ethically the, and, you know, the, the implications of corruption and, and that we should teach your employees via a, um, via a compliance program, which is highly recommended. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to provide any additional details for you. Thanks for listening and uh, have a good rest of your evening. Take care.